Well, Merry Christmas, Church. We begin on the second day of Advent, December 1st. Can you really imagine that we are still dealing with 2020 and COVID in December? When all this started, I know we all thought it'd be a few months and then we'd be back. But here we are at the end of the year, up with our Christmas trees, trying to end the year on a high note. I don't know about your family, but we wanted to put up the Christmas trees early this year so that we could have something to celebrate. And as we put up the Christmas tree, there's a lot of memories, of course, like everyone, that come back to us as we look at ornaments. There's one that really grabbed my attention this year, and it is a giraffe ornament. It's a cute little giraffe, and it's actually given to us when Jason, our son, was born. And I remember at the time thinking, you know, Christmas is, is many months off. Why are we getting Christmas ornament in April for Jason's birth and it really went into a box I didn't think about it very much and I was a little little worried at the time Jason was born with a lung infection and so he would spend two weeks in the NICU and then doing lots of work and having assistance breathing and it, it was a pretty pretty difficult time and when I think back to this ornament I think when I first got it, when I first saw it, I thought, this is just a hard time. Nobody wants to leave their child in the hospital for two weeks. But now, many years later, 14 years later, I look at my son and he's a man, he's huge. And this ornament means even that much more, that we began in a hard place, but give it time and God can work an incredible miracle. That's the Christmas scripture that I wanna share with you today comes out of the ninth chapter of Isaiah. The scripture reads <clears throat> that a time of darkness and despair will not go on forever. In the land of Zebulun and Naphtali, there soon will be humbled, but there will come a time in the future when the Galilee of the Gentiles, which lies along the road that runs between Jordan and the sea, will be filled with glory. In exactly the same way, Isaiah pointed out, there's a portion of our country that will be lost to us. Zebulun and Naphtali, which had been tribes of Israel, will disappear, and they will be replaced by Galilee of the Gentiles. In fact, Galilee is how we still know it today, but that was a land that was taken away from the Jews and repopulated. So the Jews would come back slowly, and that would, of course, be the place that Jesus would arise as the Messiah. God has a way of taking things that are painful for us, and if we just give it time and watch what God can do, we can be amazed. So put an ornament of 2020 on your tree this year. It may not feel good, you may not have a lot to celebrate, but I think as we watch in the years to come, we'll be amazed at what God does with the things that hurt for us. Merry Christmas, and let's look forward to what our God is gonna do. Amen.